morning as uh, unit came in. Uh, simple, it's just rear brakes. Uh, Took out the front. Front is 90%. Uh, rear, we got like a 40% live lift on them. Thing is, the drums are, for some reason, the drum is very, very wore out and it's causing the unit, uh, you know, vibrations and odd uh, feelings when you hit the brakes. So, you can go ahead and tear this one apart and go ahead and replace, replace the brakes and the drums on this one. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what we're going to do. This here is considered uh, by some the hardest part to do on a brake is actually setting up these last two springs. Uh, the way I do it is I sit, well as you guys saw, I set the front side first and uh, I go ahead and set up my springs. I use just a regular half inch drive 24 inch extension make sure they're locked in place pull this up insert my roller and then there's one then the bottom I do the same thing make sure the springs are in place push down on it insert insert the roller and <coughs> as you can see it's not that bad. I mean, a little bit of elbow grease. I mean, it does take a little force behind that half inch extension, but it ain't that bad. I mean, it's, I know they make special tools, stuff like that. Uh, we just kind of made, made our own. Uh, well, let me go ahead and get this drum back on it and uh, go ahead and get to the other side. Well, here guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and set up a jack stand. You don't want to be working under this thing without a jack stand in place. I mean, even though the odds are not high, but you never know. But you got to play it safe, guys. So, jack stands we use are 20,000 pound. I mean, there's no way this thing can weigh more, weigh more than 20,000 pounds, guys. Set it up right there. And then the other it's like adjuster. Got to pull this pin. Shoes. If not, it won't let you pull no, the drum no. out. So all we drum do is just it'll make it real easy for you to pull. Take that all drum the tension out off the slide and just remove and install the new brakes. Well, guys, on the on the other side, I didn't show you guys how I take these apart. It's super easy. Uh, this spring here, you have one just like it on the other side. What I do is just I just stick a screwdriver. Let me, let me get this in. I stick a screwdriver right behind the ear and just pop it out. I do the same for the rear and just pop it out. Once you got the springs removed, the brakes come off real easy. Uh, sometimes they're a little stubborn, a little stuck. What I do is I always pull upper one off, twist, pry off the S cam, and the rest of it comes right off. As you can see, I mean, it's not that hard. Well, I'm going to say it's not as hard as it looks. I mean, everything, it, it does take a little bit of work, 
but it's not that bad guys uh, on this one I'm gonna go ahead and set up the little machine under it wash all this dust off and well put it back together I'll go ahead and do the assembly on two times so you guys can see I mean it's super super easy guys all right let me wash this up Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the hardware on the actual brake shoe. Roll, rollers with lock pins. Roller with lock pin. And you got these. These. You have to. These you have to hammer in place. This is where the spring actually holds on to. I just find it. There you go. And these you gotta kind of press them in. So there you go. There. And that's it guys. And the way I do it is lock the spring in lock the spring in brakes are together let me move the camera and let me put it on the s-cam side let me get you guys some light all right and now watch this thing Bring the, bring the shoes in, set this one up, let it drop on this side, then oh. there, then you come on this side, here's the needle. There. Again, set your springs up on both sides. Half inch, 24 inch long extension. Lock, pull, set your dowel. Make sure the springs are in. Set your dowel. Springs are in. And there it is, guys. Well guys, shoes have been replaced, drums have been replaced, now all we gotta do is adjust, adjust the brake shoes with a slack adjuster. I know you can't see this because of all the crud and grease, but it has a little box, a little square on top, it's actually an adjusting screw, you turn that counter clockwise you're actually closing up the brake shoes make sure the brakes are released inside the unit you tighten it up until it stops basically you just hit the brakes on these the way I adjust is I do the front I go three quarters of a turnout on the rear I go half a turnout Basically, you set your wrench, turn it at a quarter, and that 
half a turn, and then all you do, remove, make sure it's locked. The way you release is, there's a little tab right here that you pry out that releases, that'll let you turn the adjuster, loosen or tighten. You have to pull this to loosen. The tightening, it'll do automatically, and you'll see this button just pop in and out as it's locking itself in place. That'll keep it from unadjusting itself with vibration or... But yep, that's the way you adjust them, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and call this one wrap. Thanks for watching, guys.